How's it guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are here at NET Racing, um, as you can see behind me. Um, so Nyan and them have actually invited me down to the shop. I don't know if you can remember, but I filmed uh, Nyan's E36 uh, just before lockdown, the Turbo E36 running NOS. So they're actually installing a brand new ECU, the Mac, uh, Max ECU and a water meth kit. So this car is Turbo, NOS, water meth and a Max, e Max ECU. Um, so I'm just going to document the building of this car now. Um, the Dino runs will be coming in the future. Obviously, it won't come now because obviously the car is still being um, wired up and stuff. But I'm just going to show you the, the process of them wiring up the Max ECU, the water meth, um, and then just reinstalling everything back in the car. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. And also like the video. So yeah, if you guys enjoy the process of this, I can guarantee you when this car is done, there will be burnouts, there will be Dino runs, there will be top end runs, and there will be all good sounds coming from this car i mean nyan's on board with um, putting cameras all over the car uh, microphones anything so you can expect some engine noises um, some exhaust noises cinematics literally everything so yeah this car is one of uh, one of the nicest one of the nicest cars on the channel so i hope you guys enjoy and uh, please subscribe for more right, so over here we have obviously nyan's the e36 that we did film Nian also just got the side skirts repainted and put on actually so the car is looking pristine. I know you just ordered a set of E36 M3 uh, mirrors as well. So here's the NOS bottle, here's the wiring loom, here's the water meth um, tank and then the pump Chase actually Chase has over there in that corner there because he they're busy making a bracket at the moment um, for the for the actual tank. So here's the a a m the AEM pump for the water meth injection kit so the bracket's gonna go on the top here so that it doesn't sit on the bottom here because the NOS tanks the NOS tank goes on the bottom here so at the moment this is exactly what the wiring loom is looking like um, one big mess but that's why we have a professional to come do this in um, so I actually didn't show you guys in the video the turbo that's a turbo over there so this is what the wiring loom is currently looking like Quickly gonna sneak away here. Yeah. I just want you guys to have a quick, quick, quick glance here. This is this is the type of setup that they're going for in the in the hands car with it mounted at the rear like that. But just have a look at this MR2. Oh, getting to focus. MR2 twin cam turbo. So <laughs> yeah, this thing is a proper proper beast. There's a turbo sitting there. So this thing is currently a road car. If I'm not mistaken, it's going to go into a race car, but I just quickly snuck, just snuck away quickly just to get this, because this thing's also looking pristine. So, what a myth, turbo in an MR2, and a whole bunch of fun. So the mount's going to go exactly like that. So Chase is just busy measuring up with a cookie by eye. <laughs> if. <laughs> Yeah, if it looks centered, good enough. So I also don't want to get in the way of Nyan and them as they, this is their job, this is how they make their money. So I might only show you quick, quick parts of it or I might not even get in front of the camera because I just want to get, get through the stuff. I don't want to be an inconvenience to anybody here. So if, uh, if it seems like I'm not talking to camera, it's not because of that. It's because I'm trying not to be an inconvenience to everyone. But I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. So what are, you, what are you doing there now with the, the bike? So uh, we want to run the car in methanol, yeah. not methanol, ethanol, um, not full time but part time. So one of the things we had to do is to change the, the fuel lines over so it can take the methanol okay. um, because the normal fuel lines wouldn't. So we've replaced all the fuel lines uh, through all the way to the front and back because obviously there's return lines. Mm. And then the other job I need to do is to fit the sensor which is the flex fuel sensor. So once that's fitted and it's tuned properly, we could go uh, put um, you know, ethanol in and the car will pick up. It's got 80% uh, ethanol and it would uh, move the boost up and the timing up as, as needed be. And if you got back to the garage, if you're on a long drive, you can pull into a normal fuel station, put 95 in, it will realize it's gone down to 20% or zero and turn the boost down and the timing down as need be. So that's just a very nifty trick. Mm. Um, 
but to find space under the seat here is quite tight. So <laughs> that's what I'm busy doing. So is that the, the that's sensor? Just a, yeah, that's just, it looks very uh, normal or whatever. It's oh, just okay. a, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, the sensor is not too expensive, it's like a thousand five hundred bucks, but the bloody fittings and the pipes are so crazy expensive. <laughs> so, uh, I can imagine. Yeah, and obviously there's a limited amount of space underneath here. Yeah. So uh, obviously I can move it somewhere else, but I'm really trying hard to keep mm. the car looking like stock. So it's not all under the bonnet or all <laughs> underneath the car. And obviously it's safe on top of the tank mm. and dry. So that's what we're trying to do you know, throughout this poll is to keep it as stock looking as possible, yeah, as neat as, as neat possible. As nice, yeah. I don't want a racing car on the road. And even fitting this management system that we are fitting, mm. it was never like, what's the maximum mm. horsepower we can make? You know, um, you know, a lot of people talk about big numbers, but 400 odd kilowatt on the back wheels is more power than most people should yeah, do. Yeah. You know, and, and, and in fifth gear, you, you could light the back tires up, yeah. you know, that sort of horsepower. So, um, or kilowatts. So I'm not going for just that. I'm also going for fuel economy. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so, yeah. So well, yeah. But we like, we're going to put the closed loop lamber back in the car, okay. which um, will definitely improve the fuel economy. We've bought some um, very high end Bosch uh, injectors, which would atomize the fuel better. We fitting knock uh, back into the car so we can try and optimize the, the ignition timing, which okay, will also okay. help. Um, so we're doing a lot of things as best mm. as we can. We um, also going to run intake te air temperature, which the previous system just didn't utilize. Um, and that's also why we're running the water meth. Uh, mm. When you drop the intake uh, temperatures, you can advance the ignition timing, um, which also brings up the efficiency. Obviously, everybody always thinks about horsepower, but it does bring up the efficiency. Mm. Um, so there's a few things. Obviously, so the number one goal is uh, get the car absolutely drivable. It always starts like a normal car. You know, just you wouldn't even notice. Second thing we're going for is fuel economy. Then, third on the list is um, how much power can we make on mm. pump fuel? Okay, okay. Um, so that's where the water meth really obviously comes into its own is how much power can we make on pump fuel? And then, as a party trick, you know, run it on clean ethanol and you know. We're hoping to make over 400 kilowatts. I love our fuel economy is in the same sentence as turbo, NOS, <laughs> ethanol, ECU. <laughs> but I mean, that's what the that's what the big manufacturers are doing. You know, that, that that's where the future is is turbo technology, mm. um, and you know, it's you could. You know, we get everybody gets it right to put a simple management on it and, and as little sensors as possible and we just make it crazy rich because it's safe and you turn the boost up. But in the real world, you know, you want to try and, yeah. and get it as fuel economy as possible, especially if you're going to drive it every day. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're trying something different. We're spending the money to learn. Mm. Um, that's also why we, I'm doing it on my own cars. I want to I learn, I want to know. If a customer comes in and says, have you ever done this before? Yeah, sure, there's my example, there's yeah. my car. You know, I don't want, you know, I think anybody wants to do that. You know, I don't want to go to a doctor and say like, have you ever pulled the tooth? <laughs> now you my first aid, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, um, so it's a bit of playing, a bit of learning. Mm. See, I don't know if you heard properly now, but you said turbo, NOS, economy, ECU, ethanol in the same sentence. That's why I say this build is going to be next level. Like, yes, there are cars that are super, super, super quick and stuff like that. But uh, for the fact that he is doing it with a different mindset towards it is what makes it intriguing for myself at least. That's why I say, if you guys need to subscribe to the channel, you need to keep up with this build. If you need, if you need to contact NDT and you want something like this done, obviously you can contact them. But this build is going to be insane. Like, I can't wait for this car to go on the dyno. Like I said, at the end, we, he, he is going to be shooting for power. I mean, he's not doing it um, not to shoot for power, so. So this is the carbon oven. And here's the AM. The controller. How oh, neat does that look inside the carbon That's crazy. So that looks super, super neat there. And then here's the, the whole big show from behind with the, the full wiring on it. So that's done now. As you can see, the setup's completely done here. Yeah. Uh, back in, the, with the tanks in. Where's the pump situated? Oh, there, I didn't see it. The pump's underneath there. Yeah, it's so neat, I can't even see it. So the water pump's in, uh, the water meter pump's in, the tank's in, the in. So pretty much the boot insulation is complete. So now they're just busy um, putting all the, the harnesses, the, the ECU harnesses still obviously going to take some time there. But so far it's looking good. So 
that these here are the old injectors that came out of the car. Um, so if you can imagine, if these are the old ones and the new ones that are being fitted are a thousand cc, you know this thing is going to make some power. So now it's just busy doing some some changes at the moment to it because the the lengths and everything are different. Uh, so unfortunately, we're gonna you know, as you go along, you cut pieces off and. Uh, end up making it pretty again. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, yeah, there's it's always something we forgot or something mm. we need to add. And uh, this is not practical to say like, oh, build the whole car and strip it later yeah. to make it pretty because some of the stuff is hard mm. to get to. Yeah. But it's, the car's coming along nice. Yeah, I was just looking at the, at the lumen stuff. So I think that's where we're going to conclude the video for today, guys. The ECU wiring on is obviously um, it's got some time to go. I mean, it's obviously not going to be a two minute job to put something in like that. So the water meth injection is everything there sorted, except the harness is just being installed currently. But that's um, at least everything's done practically. So now it's just the, the ECU harness. And then once that's in, just to put everything back together and then the car's ready for a tune. So yeah, this has been an interesting thing. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, there wasn't much of the actual process of it happening, but just showing what's happening, I'm sure many of you will would, would have enjoyed that. So this is the first episode of this. I think you could say done. And the next one should be the first startup and then also Dino Tune. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, it helps a lot. Um, but yeah, see you guys in the next video.